In this laser clinical video procedure, we're going to be doing some troughing and tissue uh, recontouring prior to uh, taking impression, building up and taking impression on tooth number 30. Now, this patient is a 45-year-old female. Uh, she's had a temporary crown on number 30 for about a year, and the tissue is, is pretty uh, inflamed, especially on the mesial and distal where there's a uh, recurrent decay and we're going to have to build that up and, and, and reprep that again. So this is a real common procedure we see and in order to get a good impression not only do we have to uh, do the troughing and, and be able to see our margins but we also have to control the bleeding uh, so it doesn't interfere with our impression. So as we start to uh, uh, do a little troughing and tissue removal we are going to use, I, I like to start at 0.7 watts continuous. Uh, you can see it's more of a stroking motion. We're going to go a little slower and a little faster depending on what we're trying to achieve. Now what do I mean by that? I mean on the distal and the mesial where we have uh, had to remove a, a more recurrent decay or take out a large uh, restoration, those margins are going to be a lot deeper. So in those places, you're going to have more inflamed tissue, and you might need to move a little slower to get the hemostasis that you need. Whereas on the facial, where you don't really have a lot of inflammation, we're going to move a little faster and just sort of stroke the laser tip in the sulcus to just sort of uh, widen the sulcus a little, create that trough, and if there is any bleeding, to, uh, to stop the, the bleeding too but usually it's not as much of a problem because that tissue is not as inflamed. So you can see we're, we're going into that, that distal area and then we bring it out towards the facial and we're getting more bleeding from that distal and the mesial where it's just a deeper eye uh, it has irritated that tissue over the long term that that temporary has been on. We vary our stroke a little faster, a little slower. A little slower is going to allow for a little more laser energy and that's going to give you a little more hemostasis. Uh, you can actually stop for a second or two in a spot if you get a little bleeding. Uh, or you can turn the laser up a little. I say start at a little lower setting. You can always turn up as needed as you start to expose that margin and start to uh, um, widen that, that sulcus out a little. Don't forget to wipe your tip off as you need as needed. Uh, and you can see we're starting to, to open that up a little. Now we're, we're going to do a little more on the mesial. We've, we've taken out the decay. We've, uh, we've built the tooth up with a, a material uh, allowing us to uh, figure out where our final margins are going to be. Now we're opening up that facial a little bit. And the tip has to be in the sulcus when you're doing this. If the tip isn't in the sulcus, you, there's a the greater chance that you're going to lower or, or change the height of your gingival tissue, which you really don't want to do. So we still have just a little bleeding, so we're going to hit a couple of spots. You can see uh, we've turned up the laser just a little bit. We're about one watt now, and we're working it through the sulcus. Got a little bleeding on the mesial there. Hopefully this will, will hit it, and also on the uh, distal. We vary our motion a little bit, and we're going to stop where we get that little spot where it's bleeding, and then continue to move around until we've created that uh, hemostasis we want. Now we've got the uh, hemostasis, we've got the bleeding under control. We've got our margins pretty well exposed, and you can see that this will be a great result, and it'll be a lot easier to get a good impression than usually what we get when we try to pack a cord. Now we could change the setting in this case to uh, allow for us to get a little more hemostasis. We can change the setting also to take a little gingival tissue away if need be, but remember you are limited and you, you can't take bone away with this, with, with this laser or with any diode laser, so you have to think of how you want the preparation to turn out and get that result.